Hi, I'm Mima, and I'm a mom and a grandma, and I have a book today called How Many Seeds in a Pumpkin? I wonder if we're going to be counting or what. Let's just take a look. One chilly fall morning, Charlie was surprised to see three bright orange pumpkins on Mr. Tiffin's desk. One pumpkin was big, one was medium, and one was small. How many seeds in a pumpkin, Mr. Tiffin asked the class. Does anybody know? How many seeds in a pumpkin? Nobody knew, but everybody had ideas. The biggest one has the most, said Robert. I bet it has one million seeds. Robert was the tallest boy in the class. The medium one has 500, Eleanor said. Eleanor always sounded as if she knew exactly what she was talking about. The tiny one has 22, said Anna. Anna liked even numbers better than odd numbers. Mr. Tiffin wrote down all the guesses on the blackboard. Charlie was very quiet. What are you thinking, Charlie? asked Mr. Tiffin. I'm thinking that all the best guesses are taken, Charlie said. Why don't we open up these pumpkins and see, said Mr. Tiffin. Oh, so look, they got their newspapers to protect the floor. So the next day, the kids in Mr. Tiffin's class brought in spoons for scooping and bowls for holding and plastic bags for throwing out. They covered the floor with newspaper. They put on their smocks. It's a messy business, counting pumpkin seeds, says Mr. Tiffin. But the class was ready. After Mr. Mr. Tiffin cut a circle around each pumpkin stem, Kimmy, Alex, and Jake pulled off the caps. The children peered inside. This one, this big one definitely has the most, said Robert. We'll see, said Mr. Tiffin. The pumpkin pulp was slimy and stringy, and the seeds were hard to get out. Have you ever stuck your hand inside of a pumpkin with the seeds in there? You should sometime. It's pretty slimy. And it smells really good. I like the smell. It smells really fresh. When the children were finished, there were three empty pumpkins. Remember? Small, medium, and large. And three full bowls. And 20 messy hands. These are the hands of all the children in the class. Tomorrow we will find out the answer to our question, said Mr. Tiffin. Tonight your homework is to think about how we should count all the seeds. That afternoon, Mr. Tiffin dried the seeds. See, he's putting them in a dryer, a seed dryer. The next day, he put them in three paper bags marked big, medium, and small. Do you think, uh, excuse me, did you do your thinking homework, he asked the class. Big, medium, small. Big is another word for large, isn't it? Large and big, they both mean big. Yes, Alex said, I think we should just guess. I think we should count very, very carefully, said Tara. I think we should count by twos, fives, and tens, said Molly. There are all kinds of ways to count. The class agreed that Molly had a good idea. Robert, Kimmy, and Jake all wanted to count the seeds in the big pumpkin by twos. Anna asked if she could join them. We can be the twos club, she said. They practiced counting. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, they said together. Jeremy, Tara, Eleanor, Molly, and Alex liked counting by fives. 
We'll count the seeds in the medium pumpkin, said Molly. We can beat the fives club. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, they cheered. I'll take the smallest pumpkin, said Charlie. I guess I'll be the tens club. Good idea, said Mr. Tiffin. Ten, twenty, thirty, Charlie began. So you have the twos club, the fives club, and the tens club. And the twos count by two. That means they say two, and then they skip the next number, which is three. So they skip three. They go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So they take two pumpkins like this, and they're counting two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And then the uh, fives club, counting by fives, they take five pumpkin seeds, and they go five, and then they take another five, ten, another five, fifteen, and then another five, twenty. And then Charlie, he's the tens club, so he's going to take ten uh, pumpkin seeds, ten, and then he's going to take another ten, he's going to say twenty, and then he's going to take another ten, he's going to say thirty. See how that works? Okay, so now we got the twos, fives, and tens club. Soon there were many groups of seeds in front of each pumpkin. Holy tamole, look at the seeds. So many seeds, mama mia. The twos club had all these seeds and they see how they broke them up into twos, groups of twos. See, said Robert, the twos club has the most. They had 170 pairs of seeds. The fives club, they broke them up into groups of five. We have lots too, said Eleanor. They had 63 groups of five seeds and one seed left over. So here's the one seed left over, and here are the groups of five seeds. The tens club. So Charlie had the tens club, and he had exactly 35 groups of 10 seeds. See how this is a group, and this is 10 seeds in each group? Yeah. So he had 35 groups of 10 seeds. Robert looked at the seeds in front of Charlie. You don't have a whole lot, he said. Let's get counting, said Mr. Tiffin. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, began Robert, Kimmy, Jake, and Anna. It took a long time to count 170 pairs of seeds. My brain hurts, said Anna. The biggest pumpkin had 340 seeds, almost a million, said Jake. The fives were a little easier. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, chanted Jeremy, Tara, Eleanor, and Molly. There were 316 seeds in the medium pumpkin. Too bad for you, said Robert. It's not a contest, said Molly. The tens were the fastest of all since there were just 35 groups. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, Charlie, Charlie counted to himself. This can't be right, he said. What can't be right, said Mr. Tiffin. There are 350 seeds in my little pumpkin, said Charlie. That means it has the most of all. So it does, said Mr. Tiffin. The tens club wins. It's not a contest, said Robert. Mr. Tiffin told the class to gather around. You can never tell just how many seeds are in a pumpkin until you open it up, he said. But there may be some clues. Take a good look at these. The class did. Charlie's is darker orange, said Anna. And it has more lines on the outside, said Robert. Yep, said Mr. Tiffin. For each line on the outside, there is a row of seeds on the inside. That's good to know, said Eleanor. And the longer the pumpkin grows, the more lines it gets, he said. He added, its skin gets darker too. So even though my pumpkin was the smallest, it was on the vine the longest, said Charlie. Exactly, agreed Mr. Tiffin. 
When it was time to go home, the class lined up by the door. Smallest to tallest this time, said Mr. Tiffin. Robert was at the back. Eleanor was in the middle. Charlie was at the front. Smallest to tallest. Small things can have a lot going on inside them, Charlie said to Mr. Tiffin. And then they left the classroom with Charlie leading the way. So guess what? I learned something in this book. I did not know that for each line there was a row of seeds inside. I never thought about that. That is the coolest thing. Excuse me, I just made a noise there. That is the coolest thing. So every time you read a book, you can learn something new. Isn't that the greatest? Or you can just enjoy the book. It can be entertaining or funny. Or you can learn things. I love books. But you know what I love more? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, you. I love you more than I love books. A lot more. I mean, a lot. A gazillion billion more. Okay, remember, I love you. Remember, Mima loves you. Always. Forever. Okay, I hope to see you soon. Come back again.